Hey, good weekend, everybody. How you doing? Got Lyle, the sash shaver, coming to you from my weekend shave. It's a Mother's Day shave. Hope everyone's treating the women in their lives well, spoiling them some way today. Uh, it's actually crazy for me because today's Mother's Day. Tomorrow's my wife's birthday. So I kind of get a little nuts in the next couple days. Plus, my wife is starting a job tomorrow. So it's kind of nuts, but it's good times. She's already enjoyed her presents this morning and her homemade gifts from her kids. And we're heading out in about 40 minutes to do social distancing visit with uh, my mother-in-law. And then a video chat this afternoon with my mom. So let's get the shave going for you. Today, oops, the light back on it. I'm going to use Loose Screw Unconditionally Numb. I believe I'm the only Canadian currently with this. Um, this is made by Rick. Uh, it used to be over at Scent Suds and Steel. It's now Loose Screw Shaving. I think this is the second batch. Different scent that he's made, obviously. Um, definitely a medium firm soap. You can put your finger into it, but you have to put some pressure on it. It's got a very good scent strength. Um, I was going to say medium before, but more I use this, it's probably a medium strong. I'm thinking like a six, six and a half. It starts to envelop the, uh, the bathroom pretty well here. So, as always, I have that in my Thirsty Badger lather bowl ready to go. And I will be lathering up today with my AP Shave Co. 24mm Sinbad Synthetic. Um, just a quick talk about the, the scent. Um, unconditionally numb. Uh, the scent notes for it are incense, food, berries, pepper, and lavender. I'll be honest, when I first smelled it, I wasn't sure I was going to be a fan. This is my third share with it. The more I use it, I quite enjoy it. Um, it's very unique. It does remind me of something, but I can't figure out what. And... You get the darker side of it with the incense to me and the oud, but there's a brightness behind it and a sweetness behind it. And I mean, that's got to be, I was trying to figure out what it was until I asked Rick what the scent notes were. That's got to be the berries and the lavender, obviously, for the sweetness behind it and the brightness. It blends very well together. And as you can see, whips up pretty quick. So I'm going to pause this right here for you, and I will be back when I have this applied to my face. All right, I'm back. So this is a very easy soap to lather, which I appreciate. Again, there's getting so many great soaps in the market, but if they're not easy to lather, that can be an issue for some. If you don't like spending a lot of time lathering like I do. Even with this, I spent more time lathering than I need to, but I just enjoy that process. As you can tell, nice, glossy, creamy lather. It's got some good density, probably medium. I'm very happy with that. The yeah, scent strength is still standing after lather. You know, right in that six range. It just kind of enveloped my senses. It's a very nice, very unique scent, like I said. Um, DK, uh, a fellow YouTuber has used this quite a few times. And I will link his channel down below for one of his shares so you can see his thoughts on this too. But uh, Everything I've ever heard, obviously, about Rick's stuff, as always, before I even got into it, was good reviews from his first base, and I have to agree with this. So far, I've really enjoyed it. Um, quick note, because I forgot to mention it. Rick's soaps, you can see the ingredients on the outside there. They are tallow-based, um, but there's also cocoa butter, shea butter, there's other really good stuff in there. I'll try to type them up on top for you guys. Those are small batch soaps. Um, doesn't make many of them in a shot. Doesn't have a website. You just kind of got to get in touch with Rick and find out when he's making them and if you can get your hands on one. Pricing is very reasonable. I believe they are $10 or $12 for three ounces plus shipping. And up in here in Canada, that hurts the exchange rate a bit, but that's okay. So for today, I mean, Rick is a straight razor guy, so I thought it only made sense to use a straight razor. This is my JR Tory. I believe it's 11 16ths, maybe 13 16ths, but I think it's 11 16ths. Um, 
and I believe this bad boy has an extra hollow because of my full hollow weight. This looks more hollow than that. Uh, this one scares me a bit. Uh, I've used it yesterday for the first time in a long time and I had a good shave with it, but it usually bites me. So we'll see what happens with the grain. Little skip in there, but I'm really pushing that line. <laughs> Not cleaning that blade off. Works really well. Always remember you're stretching too when straight razor shaving. Always, always, always use that stretching to get your the surface of the skin that you're shaving as flat as you can. So, soap is doing very well. Um, I haven't used a straight with this stuff yet. And, hmm, sorry, I'm gonna make sure my fingers are dry here. Um, nothing, no surprises. How's that sound? <laughs> it's one of the best ones to say. The slickness is very good. Um, no shock in the straight razor shaver, so you know something you can do without having enough slickness. There we go. Pass one done. Feels really good. Residual is really good here too. I mean, it's just a good soap. Good scent. Good value. In my opinion. Very, very nice stuff so far with my experience of it. So, I forgot my towel over here to dry my hands. Sorry, guys. Hope everyone's, uh, like I said, having a good weekend. What do you guys got planned for Mother's Day? Anything great going on? I'm uh, trying to make a really nice supper for my wife. I'm doing a smoked, uh, smoked pulled pork with applewood smoke with coleslaw sandwiches. She loves that meal. Across the grain. As you can see, the slickness is good to the ridge of my hand, just slide. Rinsing away very well off the blade too, so I think hydration is good. Um, I heard Chris uh, Bailey over at IMCBD talking about a comment that Johan made from uh, 
shave and butcher. Because basically if your lather doesn't rinse off of your blade easily, you probably don't have proper hydration. And you need proper hydration for a straight, for sure. You need that slickness. So I think that was a good, wow, I'm going the wrong path. Sorry guys, uh, I think that was a great comment by Johan. And he's definitely more experienced at this than me. Always keep your concentration at the straight. It's a good way to nick yourself. I was just listening to my kids upstairs there. So I just gotta dry this blade off a bit, guys. Sorry, my hands are really slippery off of Rick's soap here and I got some of it on the on the blade, on the shoulder and the tang, and I'm having a hard time gripping it. So I want to thank everyone who uh, entered my contest during my last video and all my new subscribers and my regular subscribers. Um, I'm getting close to 300, which is awesome. And I did make that draw last night and put that video up. Um, so congrats to that winner. And I will be getting that stuff out to them. They've already contacted me. So I guess congratulations, Stanley, from the Student Shaver. I will be looking at another giveaway probably when I get maybe 400 or 500 subs. Probably 500. So hopefully we can get there not too long ago. The support recently has been outstanding. I've got many new subs in the last few months. I've uh, pushed me from like. 180 all the way up to basically 300. I think I'm at 287 right now. So I really, really, really appreciate that, everyone. So the weather been good for you guys? Yeah, we're supposed to have a cooler day today, but it's been great so far. I was outside and just enjoying it already this morning. So against the grain. Also got some new stuff coming for the den I'm fairly excited about. Picked up some soaps. Um, nothing new soaps, but older soaps that I've wanted for a long time. And just picked up one today that I paid for and I gotta go pick it up locally. Been very, very excited. Don't know how I'm gonna explain that one to my wife on Mother's Day, but I'm gonna do it. 
So I can't wait to show you guys. Crazy little blade. One I might raffle off yet though. I'm not sure yet. I just, I just do prefer my white and butcher blade. I just got myself. But it's such a nice blade. You know, it's got ram, original ram scale horns on it and everything that if it's not getting used, it's such a waste. It doesn't get used enough. It might be rehomed or. I think you appreciate it a little bit more. You know, I forgot to do my extra drops for the Against the Grain Pass, damn it. Oh well. I'm just not doing those right now. <laughs> We're pretty much done. So. Let's see, can I have a nose here? Made a dumbass, just slice myself, wasn't paying attention. I was stupid again. It's feeling pretty good. A little roughness on the neck down here. And right there. Let's see if I can get it. I'm not going to push it though. Don't need to go for rotation or anything, right? So. Bloods from my finger. <laughs> Oops, please. Don't tell my wife. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just double check. Lots of this will uh, fade away or become smooth, of course, as I say, as it dehydrates.
here, I'm not gonna push it with that razor today. I've had a good shave with it, and I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> so I am going to uh, clean up, and I'll be right back for the post. All right, we're back for the post here. Remember, really just pat and dry, guys. Never rub, right? Used to a sharp blade over your skin. So, irritated a bit. Feels really good. It's even you know, a little bit there, but I'm not chasing those areas. Those are trouble areas. That feels really good. Everything feels awesome. So, I don't really have much that matches with this. Um, that's the one thing I struggle with that soap. But I'm going to use this today. Um, Prohibition style bourbon barrel. It's got a similar kind of um, sweetness. Not as warm or dark to it, I guess, warmth to it as that does, but I think they pair okay. And frankly, I like the scent. So. Awesome. Well, that is golden. That, by the way, is a witch hazel based. And I'll try to put the notes up there for you guys too. And the ingredients. So that was an awesome shave. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's from blood from my finger still. You can see I sliced it there. Loose screw. Tallow based with coconut butter and shea butter and lots of great ingredients from Brick. That used to be set, Scent, Suds and Steel and is now a loose screw. And it's a great scent. It evolves a little bit when you lather it, um, but it's a nice warm scent with some sweetness behind it. It's really kind of cool. I don't like it. It's unique. It does remind me of something, but I cannot figure out what. don't know if it's another soap scent, if it's a memory from the past. I'm not sure, but it reminds me of something. But anyways, great product. Great guy. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it below. And great value. Really good soap. Works great. Saw me lather that up today. The AP Shave Coat 24mm Sinbad. Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl, Stormtrooper Mug for the Water, Prohibition Style Bourbon Barrel uh, After Shave Splash, and the star of the show, not the star of the show, but the blade of the weapon of the show, J.R. Tory. I believe it's Extra Hollow Straight Razor, uh, 11 16 I think, with Ram Scale Horns. All original, beautiful razor, very sharp if you're not careful. <laughs> Sorry, it's gross, I know. So, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. Again, I want to thank you for everyone who participated in that giveaway. And I really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you're seeing this and you want to become one, you know, as we always say, please subscribe below. You can hit the bell too for my notifications. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a great weekend. I hope you're having a great Mother's Day. This probably won't get posted up to late tonight, so Mother's Day will be over for lots of people. And... Happy shaving, everyone. Catch you next weekend.